it's a different calling to be an artist um, than it is uh, to be anything else in our in our society, and and it's I think it's a both a holy and a sacred calling, and I need it. I treat it with reverence. Uh, we, our job as artists is to say things that no one else is going to say. There is no one else that's going to be speaking the truth the way an artist does. Uh, my heroes are all truth tellers, and they've done their job well, and and they've passed the baton on to the next generation, the next generation, and 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 so forth. Um, um, and, and at the end of the day. Um, I think songs can heal, and I think songs are, 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 are a form of spiritual medicine that are extremely powerful. There, there's a reason that, that there's, there's people who, who have Alzheimer's and, and can't remember their spouse of 50 years but know every single word to Love Me Tender. Mm -hmm. Songs go deep. Mm -hmm. Deep, deep, and I think that there's a reason for that, mm -hmm. um, and I think it's spiritual in nature. And that, to me, that's the right use of songs for me. Mm -hmm. And of course, there's going to be a backlash because there's a lot of people who say that's just not true. Yeah, uh, and, and 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 it's not for them. And I'm not trying to say yeah. that it is. Yeah, and we'll, we'll put a link in the the show notes uh, for people to check out the article re we're referencing, and we'll put a link in the in the video as well. Um, Kind of changing the topic a little, maybe a little more lighthearted, but we love hearing mis <laughs> we love hearing we love hearing mistake stories on the podcast. The artist, like I did this, and I wish I'd never done that, or things that uh, I love that too. Yeah, we and and we've heard some of the craziest, funniest things, and we've also heard some like, oh my gosh, what were you thinking? Type stories. But do you have any mistake stories uh, that uh, you want to pass on? Stupid human mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> Besides showing up to the airport on the wrong day, <laughs> ready to fly out. That's a given, right? <laughs> Wearing the wrong shirt, or uh, uh, like career choices you wish you hadn't made, or hey, if I had if I had do it over again, I would I would have hired this person, not that person, or done this differently, or um, you know. So it doesn't have to be like anything huge. It could be just some some things that you know, looking back, you you wish you had maybe done differently. I made a lot of mistakes. I'm trying to think of the biggest one. <laughs> 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 um, I I think that. And we talk about it in, in this article, once again, the letter to the songwriter. Um, once you start to succeed in this business, your light gets brighter and it attracts darkness. The light will always attract the darkness. Uh, and, and I think discernment becomes very, very important. Dangerous people will come in. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't love you, they don't care whether you live or die they want a piece of something that you have and they're going to try to grab it mm -hmm. and you cannot see uh, their motives because they're hidden those kind of mistakes are very dangerous and they're not funny and i've made them mm -hmm. um, and i'm learning now to be much more careful um we see people get in deep trouble from this mm -hmm. and you know um, I don't even have to name the examples. You know who I'm talking about. Yeah. You get surrounded by people who no longer have your best interests at heart. And so as the hard work starts to pay off and the years of struggle and the records and records and records and records uh, and, and the touring and touring and touring, and suddenly you start to see that, that your work, the seeds are, are, are growing, mm -hmm. then it really gets dangerous. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you've got to be careful. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm ready now to have a committee, you know, and just run people through the committee before they can come in, you know, yeah. because I can't tell, you know, I'm still, I'm still as dumb as I ever was. You know, <laughs> you smile and tell me you love me and I think you do, you yeah. know, and so I've got to be careful. And I think most artists are the same way. We're yeah. open hearted. That's why we're artists. Yep. That's a very somber question to a lighthearted, lighthearted answer. I mean, a lighthearted question and a somber answer, but that's <laughs> my nature. I'm a philosophy major. I apologize. <laughs> that's all right. Well, um, do you have any final words of advice for artists out there that just any words of wisdom or anything to, to leave the interview on? Well, yeah. I, I, I think I would encourage the, 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 the songwriters listening to focus on the songs. It's, it's the songs that matter. It's really the songs that matter. And it's the songs that will open the doors for you. Mm -hmm. It's truly not the genes. 
it, it, it's not the haircut. It, it, it's not the sound of your guitar. Those things matter, uh, but when your song connects with another person's heart, uh, it does things. Uh, and you connect with a, a lot of hearts through focusing on the song, um, and doors will open that you can't even imagine. It's the songs. Mm -hmm. The music business is an inverted pyramid, and the tip of it rests on the song. And everything else is, is a distraction sometimes. Get the songs right, uh, and the rest will follow. That is the, the focus that I've always had, and I think that's why I've been able to keep going. I think that's great advice.